Welcome to New Strength. I'm Christina Cook Lee. New Strength is a daily devotional offering hope and encouragement to people who are trying to get and stay free from depression and or dependency. I would encourage you to read along with me. If you're viewing directly on YouTube, check the description area below the screen for instructions on how you can. Thanks for joining me. Our topic is finances. The focus, enjoying the game. The scripture, Philippians chapter 4 verse 19 from the King James Version of the Bible. But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Sometimes when we are in need of finances, the provision can come in other ways. We might be looking for pennies from heaven, but then something else happens to make what we have go further. God is a good God. He is not stingy by any means, but he doesn't always just hand out money when there is a pending need. He is highly creative and talented at providing ways for us to help ourselves, or he may cause a shift in our situation to offset other demands to allow more flex. In my lifetime, I have come to enjoy watching God solve my problems. I have been impressed over and over as he has worked through unexpected means to provide for me. There have been many times when I have been helpless in human terms, but God has always made a way where there seemed to be no way. I will say for sure that God doesn't have a set way of doing things. He likes to keep life interesting. He seems to use variety in the way he approaches our times of crisis. The way he rescues us one time will not be the same as the next, but you can be sure he will rescue. Some people are in the habit of thinking they have to have everything new, or the latest and greatest. There were times in my life when I was like that, so I don't condemn anyone who feels that way. At this point, I like adventure more than paying retail, and God knows it. There are very few things I would consider paying full price for these days. Truthfully, there aren't very many things I actually need. The things I want, I can wait for or watch for. We happen to live in an area where there are excellent Goodwill stores. I enjoy shopping, So I make a trip to Goodwill two or three times a month. Sometimes I walk out with nothing. Other times I walk out with hundreds of dollars worth of clothes or home furnishings that are like new, which I was able to obtain for pennies on the dollar. Like I said, I don't really need anything. So if I find something to buy, it's probably exceptional quality and an exceptional bargain, or I wouldn't spend the money. If I happen to buy anything at a retail store, it will be something off the clearance rack or at least on sale. My car is 13 years old. It has over 206,000 miles on it, but it drives fine, so I will most likely keep it for at least a couple more years. It gets great mileage, and we bought it when the car was four years old for a good price. God has a very amazing way of surprising me with free things. For instance, most of the furnishings in my home were either given to me or things I found by the road. You'd be shocked at what people throw away. I let go of my pride a long time ago, and I see it as God's way of giving me little gifts and chuckles. First, he inspires someone to believe they don't want or need something anymore, and that they should just put it out by the end of their driveway. Then, he will inspire me to drive by and find it. I could write a book about the detailed ways God has specifically met needs of mine, or supplied things for others, within very short spaces of time, when I just asked him to provide. He is so awesome. God is completely capable of making all things work for our good. When we are faithful to Him, He is faithful to us. Even when we don't deserve some things, He gives them to us anyway. We just have to be aware that His ways are not our ways, and that what we need may be supplied in an unconventional way. He is such a thoughtful parent. Pride is something God hates. One of his goals in refining our character is to make us willing to be humble. Humility is not a natural tendency in human nature. People are like wild horses in some ways. In order for a wild horse to be useful, it has to be broken. Horses who haven't been tamed can be reckless and dangerous animals. People who haven't learned humility and who haven't experienced brokenness can be reckless and dangerous too. They can go through tons of money and have absolutely nothing to show for it. Learning to be willing to receive in the creative ways God desires to give makes life so much more fun and interesting. It's like a game. You never know when or how what you want or need will appear. You just know it will. 
Declaration, I will find new strength by losing my pride and embracing humility. I will not only trust God to supply my needs, but I will enjoy the game. Thanks for taking the time to listen. I would really appreciate it if you would like this segment. And if you wouldn't mind, please share it with someone else who might also benefit from it. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the New Strength Devotional channel on YouTube or on WordPress, and then a link will come to you every day in your email with a segment like this. And if you're already a subscriber, I'll look forward to meeting with you again tomorrow. My prayer is that you will find new strength day by day and endless blessings. I'm Christina Cook-Lee.